It really feels like fall this week, leading some to don sweaters for the first time this season. Hello from the Charleston City Paper, I'm Samantha Connors. This week's new issue of the City Paper offers a look beyond the surface of Charleston's beautiful streams that lead to the harbor. In a cover story, the City Paper unveils how seven out of the 20 sites routinely monitored by Charleston Waterkeeper have failing levels of bacteria that serve as indicators for dangerous pathogens. Ugh. This week in news, you'll learn more about how broadband internet infrastructure has been funded for the whole state, although it will take some time for everyone to get high speeds. There are also stories about the positive future of low country rapid transit and a new memorial honoring those disinterred during the renovations of the Charleston Gilliard Center. This week in music, you'll meet two local bands, while our arts section focuses on a local production of Don Giovanni and a new drag queen tour. In food, there's a behind the scenes look at food pop-ups. And this week, don't forget to pick up a fresh copy of Dish, our quarterly food magazine. In this issue, we share the area's top 50 restaurants and our new restaurant hot list. In our opinion section, read our endorsements of Dr. Annie Andrews and longtime leader Jim Clyburn for Congress. And there's a commentary on why things may be looking a little more optimistic. You can pick up a fresh printed copy of the city paper at any of 800 locations around the area, or you can visit the paper online anytime at charlestoncitypaper.com to get more news, as well as funny cartoons by Steglin and Robert Ariel, as well as a killer crossword puzzle and our weekly music list. And tune in here every week and at thepalmettonetwork.com for this news update from the Charleston City Paper. Thanks for watching. I'm Samantha Connors. <laughs>